Hey peeps, welcome back. November is here. Fall is getting into the colder temps. Holidays are just around the corner. And I have some goodies lined up for this month. So if you're building your to be read list or your watch list, you're gonna have to stay tuned into this video and to part two of this video and take out your pens and paper and write them down because I have some gems. All right, as you always know, I like to keep my reads and my watch uh, list close to whatever theme that month brings. This month is mostly like Thanksgiving, election stuff, fall, family. I will say that it's extra hard to find good entertaining uh, Thanksgiving reads and flicks though. It, um, I've had trouble with that um, in the past. And so, you know, if you have any recommendations for like good Thanksgiving movies, um, leave that in the comment section below because I think I've just watched all of them. Here are the books that I got lined up for the month. Um, as always, I'm going to do my very best to get through the whole list. Uh, most of them are going with the fall family feel. Some of the books um, that I have lined up are for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, though. And they don't have anything to do with Thanksgiving or fall or family or elections. Okay, so you guys always recommend to me books on family or dysfunctional family because that's what I feel like Thanksgiving brings about. Just a lot of loudness and eating and some great get-togethers, but mostly just... The Hustle and Bustle of the Holidays. So, The Family Fang by Kevin Wilson. I have on my um, to-be-read list. It's from 2011. Somebody recommended to me. They said that it wasn't had nothing to do with Thanksgiving. It just has to do with dysfunctional family. Family Holiday by Elizabeth Noble from 2020. That's been on my list for a while now. i was been meaning to read that one last year, and it just slipped through the cracks and I kept pushing it off so I'm gonna get try to get to it this time around the ramblers by Aiden Donnelly Rowley 2016 um also that dysfunctional family uh trope going on there Thanksgiving night by Richard Bausch 2006 again we're keeping up with that oh families visiting and we're trying to do a good holiday, but there's always underlying issues and problems with each other. Thanksgiving by Janet Ivanovich. Um, that one is more on the romance aspect of the holiday. Um, every time I ask for recommendations for books for uh, November or during the Thanksgiving, um, everybody always recommends that one. So finally, I added it on there. True for Beard by Penny Reed. Uh, it's part of a Winston Brothers series. It's a lot of books. I believe they're well into the eight or nine books by this point. And so um, I wanted to read something different. I'm hoping that the main focus is guys. Usually I read from a women's uh, perspective. I'm hoping to read from a guy's perspective and hopefully brother's perspective. Uh, November 9th by Colleen Hoover, another one that always gets recommended when I ask for books for this time. Um, so I'm excited to see what's going on there because usually those are not um, books that I go for. I usually go for YA books or young adult books, new adult books. And so when they recommend me books from that are more adult, uh, I kind of like cringe at it because I, I can't relate too much, but we'll see what happens. Match Made for Thanksgiving by Jackie Lau. That was from 2019. This one I added at the last minute because it she promoted it and it was actually free on Kindle. And so I had to snatch that up because I get all um, my hands on all the Thanksgiving reads that I can get because there are not many like really good ones out there. And then the books that I have set um, for my Pop Sugar Reading Challenge that I have left to finish out the challenge, finally, uh, it's been really difficult. Um, 
good good omens from blood and ash his dark materials Shershi, vicious and the first of the narnia series um and i'm excited for those some of them have like a little wintry feel there but most of them have nothing to do with the time so we'll see how i fit them in um so that i can finally get through with this challenge because i don't want to take it into uh december because december i have lined up so many so many good books and so many uh good movies and it's all holidays all christmas is all that so i don't want to take anything that's not in that genre into the next month so there you have it and <clears throat> stay tuned for part two of my hello november video and i'll talk about all the movies and shows series and specials that um i have on my list to check out so stay tuned